All right, so we decided to make a daily tier list. There's a lot of different dailies going on right now. Should be a lot of fun. This game's actually a full-time job. There's so many dailies right now. It's so stressful. And we decided to put it on a tier list. Let's start with daily bossing. So this is stuff like doing Arcarium, you know, uh, bosses that give you souls like Vellum, Magnus, uh, Queen, or you could even say like GP cap because a lot of people always say like do G GP cap like it's basically just daily bossing. So this one isn't as bad. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long and you could get like a lot of spares. Even pink bean. Pink bean gives you like uh, belt fodder for uh, sub Golux belt. So yeah, I want to say this one's that bad. So I'll put it like right in the middle ish. So yeah, like daily bossing is pretty like bearable. Like it's not that bad to do and you get a decent amount of money. If you do all the daily bosses, you could get like almost like 100 mil or something like that just from daily bossing okay so yeah these screenshots are kind of scuffed but whatever um arcane force dailies so arcane force dailies so this is just you know vj choo choo um latch arcana moras and esfera um yeah so and it's also all the party quests so like vjpq uh you know, H Mudo, Spirit Savior, Dream Defender, uh, all that shit. So, honestly, this is pretty bad, but it gets bearable once you're like 250 and you only have to do one quest. Like, it's like, if I was like level 210 or something, like, it's like easy F tier. <laughs> it's like so miserable. But if you're like 250, uh, let's just say D tier. It's not too terrible, but um honestly vjpq alone like outweighs everything else so badly that this is just so annoying to do like vg vjpq like it that alone is probably as bad as all the other dailies combined like that's how bad it is it's so so annoying to do anyways moving on clover capping easy f tier um honestly we all understand how good clovers are but like capping clovers takes so long like so abysmally long it's not even funny and then on top of that to make this process easier you have to pay for it so it's actually like the worst thing ever you have it takes you about three hours without the tool and if you have the tool it takes you around like nine, 90 minutes so this daily alone is like potentially three hours long like imagine that just to cap this out fuck clovers um Commercy, so no one should honestly be doing this anymore. Commercy's ass, but if you are still doing a commercy, this is also like one of the worst dailies to do. Uh, especially like doing doing like ten runs in a row and then doing CPQ and you get gold away three times in a row. Shit takes forever, bro. Shit actually takes forever. So this is another easy F tier daily. Fuck commercy. Um, this shit's actually miserable. And then you boom like a Sweetwater Pen or something, minus 400 Nanaros. Bro, and then you're trying to upgrade your ship to Dreadnought. And then you have to do Lith Harbor runs. And Lith Harbor runs take like a million years. And it takes 30 energy per run. Bro, this shit's actually miserable, bro. Okay, Helux. So Helux is, is Pog. Helux is... Honestly, Helix is like... It doesn't take that long. And you get a lot of... You get like super rewarded for it. Because Helix gear is broken as shit. Yeah, this is another like easy C tier. Now, Helix can become D tier or even F tier if you're trading Helix on multiple characters every single day. Then it becomes like a big chore, like a big one. Like if you're trying to get Golux on all your boss mules and you're doing like eight runs a day or something, yo, this shit's miserable. But we'll keep it in C tier because most people are probably not doing that. Okay, so Ignition Coin Cap. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be Ignition. It's just whatever event Coin Cap. Um, it's usually not that hard. There's like a bunch of different ways you could do it. Whether you, you, you get coins from like, you know, daily bossing or training or doing your daily. So this one's honestly really easy too, because as you do other dailies, this will naturally just fill up. So this is another easy C tier and, um, the other stamp or whatever, whatever stamp you get from the event, the daily check-in gives you a lot of good stuff. So that's good. Okay. Event mini game. So event mini game is another easy C tier. Um, if you like mini games, it's actually fun. If you don't like mini games, it's not annoying. Usually, usually it's not annoying to the point that it's just miserable unless you're playing fucking 
the stupid beach ball game and you're trying to bounce the ball and hit the mob hit the stupid mobs in the map but everybody throws the ball horizontally and it takes a million years for the ball to drop but whatever um the reward for this is broken though like the amount of exp you get you can get so many free 210s so it's actually like really 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 good okay so moving on to legion coin daily uh legion coin daily it's not that bad but it's pretty annoying especially if you have a shit pc and you're lagging and stuff I'll put it in D. Um, I think this is another daily that's really easy to forget because it's just like, who the fuck would even remember this? But whatever. It, it's not easy to the point that like it's up here, but it's not difficult that it's down here. And the reward is just whatever. Okay, Maple Tour. So Maple Tour is, uh, it's probably an easy F tier. Now, a lot of people are going to say, um, why the hell is it an F tier? You get a lot of mesos. Well, think about it. You have to pay to get a lot of mesos. And it's basically just like Monster Park 2.0. Um, it's really, really monotonous, really, really tedious. It's not too hard to do. It's just takes, it's just such a, like, it just takes too long, bro. Like, it's, just, I don't know, it's dumb. Very annoying. Although, actually, the rewards are pretty good, so I'll put it here. I'll take it back. I'll put, you already know where I'm going to put Monster Park, but the rewards save it from being F tier. Um, actor was sub. Okay, so moving on to upkeeping your Meester. Yeah, this is a dailies tier list. Upkeeping Meester is not bad. It's only like one click, but having to remember it, having to remember it, and if it drops below Meester is actually the most annoying shit in the world. You just always have to remember this, but once you get into the groove of it, it's not that bad, so we'll just keep it up here. It's, it's pretty quick and easy. Okay, Misty Island, easy F tier. It's not even close. It's probably like, yo, these two right here are like the big offenders. I'm not gonna lie. These two are like, actually like, making the game miserable right now now you can say like misty island is fun obviously like you know you could enjoy misty island i enjoyed that as well but eventually you get to the point where it's so easy you just solved how to do it and you just wait for like over half the time you're in there you're just standing there waiting because you already have all your walls set up you have your tower set up you have your weapon um and it just takes too long 72 minutes a day to clear challenge bro that shit takes way too long bro they need to make like a skip day feature or something. The reward is obviously good with the flames and a perm totem, but it takes so long, bro. So fuck Misty Island. Okay. MPE. Okay. So MPE is going in C tier. It doesn't take that long and you get a fat reward and you do it with people. And everybody knows that doing dailies with people is less miserable than doing it by yourself. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, Monster Park. This is another F tier. Um, although the Monster Park rewards are good, this shit is actually miserable, bro. Like, every single day when I do Monster Park, I just get pissed. I actually just get pissed, bro. Like, I'm just pissed doing Monster Park, bro. Like, this shit tilts the fuck out of me. Especially when you do it on mules and you don't have, like, enough arcane force. And especially Morass Monster Park in particular. Morass Monster Park, when you're in that 230 to 235 range, is one of the most miserable points in the whole game. Dude, exactly, John. I swear to God, time slows down when you're in Monster Park. You ever just, in the middle of your seven Monster Park runs, you're like, wait, really? That was only my second run? It feels like you've been doing it forever for some reason. And you just keep doing it over and over and over again. And you're like, wait, how have I not done seven runs by now? You're like, I swear to God, this is my seventh run. And you click it and it says five out of seven. Yo, like, it's so weird. Time moves different in Monster Park somehow. Like, the EXP is good and the boxes are good. But for some reason, it for some reason you're in there forever. I don't know why. And then the Morris one is the worst out of all of them. Like like Morris, like the platforms are so weird. It's actually the worst one. Time actually slows down in Monster Park somehow. It's really weird. Okay, so Sacred Force dailies. Okay, so there's two ways to look at this. If you're doing this solo, this is like the worst. This is the worst shit in the game, bro. On no god, this is like so annoying if you're doing it solo, especially if you don't have enough Sacred Force. Bro, this should take so long, bro. But if you do it in a party, it makes it bearable. And I'm going to put it next to our regular Arcane Force dailies. Hotel Arcus. Bro, not Hotel Arcus. Cernium needs to get nerfed, bro. The fact that Cernium is still a 1,000 mobs is so fucking annoying, bro. How is it still a 1,000 mobs? It takes so long. Like, it's only being saved by being able to be done in a party. And okay, you guys are right. MPE should be one tier above. MPE is pretty goaded. This shit's broken. Alright, so Threads of Fate. 
this is another f tier um threads of fate although the rewards are really good it's so fucking annoying to do it takes two hours and a half to do minimum and you have to remember to click it every single time you can't cc you can't log off you can't enter cash shop if you forget like you're fucked um so like you can just do this like you can do this like as you're training which is nice but like you literally can't do anything like you're just locked into the channel and you got to remember it's something you got to constantly think about low key like that's why it's so annoying it's so annoying because you have to think about it all the time it's not it's not you have to like remember to accept it you have to remember that you can't cc or anything like that you have to remember to upkeep it every week but that's a weekly whatever um you have to remember to log out before you before you ask the person who has herbs or, or chop wood like there's like a lot of conditions to this it's so fucking annoying okay ursus so ursus is goaded ursus is really good because you can just do it by yourself you don't even have to do it with with the stupid 18 people you don't have to wait for any, anybody you can get your quick 100 mil and ursus buff every single day so that's fine yeah goaded equals c tier <laughs> yeah true <laughs> and um yeah so like if, if you're weak you're like you know you could do it with 18 people and you get money granted it is kind of laggy if you have like a shit pc but if you're stronger you could just do it by yourself you don't even need to do any you need you don't even need to do it with anybody and you could just um you know hit it a few times and leave and then you're done and uh the final daily is the most important one yeah you might have been questioning what this black square is uh it's daily crashing because we all know that you crash every single day and uh this is definitely an s tier this is the most important thing to do um definitely s tier like 100 percent crashing is the best time of my life i love crashing in maple story um there's nothing else that i like more uh i have a lot of fun crashing whether it's clicking my cash shop whether it's entering boss fully buffed whether it's uh you know some sort of weird interaction that dc's me or something crashing is the best daily like i love crashing if there's anything i could do all day i'd just crash all day so yeah i hope you enjoyed this dailies tier list uh, maple story is like in a fucking aids ass position right now there's so many dailies actually you know what we should do before we we wrap up the video we should count how long it takes to do all these dailies um so this is like three hours this is like 72 minutes this is like 20 minutes bro this is like an infinite amount of time i don't this is like uncalculable this is like immeasurable immeasurable amount of time for some reason uh this is two and a half hours this is like maybe 15 minutes at the fastest this is like another 15 minutes this is like a minute this is like maybe f like 10 minutes or something this is like five minutes or maybe 10 minutes this is like 15 seconds this is like five minutes 10 minutes this is like potentially zero minutes if you just do all the other ones but if you're just trying to do this it's like maybe 20 minutes um this is like five ten minutes this is like two minutes if you're weak it could be like you know 15 minutes this is like uh, you know five minutes or so and then this is like i don't know every every minute or something like that this happens so yeah maple story dailies are actually crazy to be honest with you it's actually insane the dailies give good stuff but yo this shit takes too long bro i swear to god every day after reset i'm just doing dailies till like midnight and then I'm like, okay, what do I do? Time to grind, right? But I'm like beat already for, for the day.